won the toss, elected to defer. And we are underway here in Murfreesboro. The fair catch called for and bobbled by Ty Lee, but he made it. Picked up one on first down. Terrell West in motion. Stockstill right to Ty Lee, gets a block. First down, out towards the 41-yard line. Patrick Smith slipped out. Breaks a tackle. Patrick Smith down to the 45. So they're not huge plays next to him, all 245 he's got, pounds. He's got to get this one out quick. Goes to the opposite side. It's caught. Broken away. Lee racing to the end zone. Touchdown, Middle Tennessee. Better and better with each game he plays. Eccles tested on second down. Settles in. Fine slow. Makes a nice grab. It's enough for a first down. 17 tackles, three tackles for a loss. Handoff to Joshua Samuel, one of the freshman running back they like. Blankenship coming up to make his second tackle. It has been the theme of this season. I think it's why it's been a little bumpy for Western Kentucky. Eccles on the fake. Drew Eccles all the way out to the 32-yard line. He's at the bottom of the screen along with John Quay Sloan. Eccles looks that way, comes the other direction. It's batted up in the air, not down. Rakavian Poitras, six foot one, 304-pound defensive tackle first. Eccles, nice pocket. Looking for Sloan, it's broken up. Javante Moffin, who has missed the last three games with an injured shoulder. On second down, it's back to the air again. Back shoulder, what a grab! Hauled in, fantastic catch. Doesn't want to let go of the ball, it's Tavon Salter. Blitz comes, Stockstill through the middle, and it's too far in front of Salter. Ferris was in coverage again, it'll bring a fourth down. Just a little bit more than 20 points per game. So it has been a stout unit here this season, Eccles. This time on the play action, taking a shot. Sloan behind the defense. Jacquez Sloan inside the 35-yard line. Eccles hits him for 53 and a first down. Thrower of a deep shot. We just saw it right there. Eccles keeps it. One pass option. Mike Dean, the tight end hurdles the defender. Reed Blankenship beaten on the long pass. Subject of the athletic play, and Mike Quan Dean the first down. Located against Maine in week two. Eccles' first action since then. Pressure comes. Eccles to the end zone. And it's too far. Lucky Jackson, the intended receiver, wants the pass interference on Cordell Hudson. Two has been accuracy. This is a 40-yard attempt. And he sneaks it in. Good. To see some more time. Quick pass on the side. That one is running down the field. Zach Dobson, freshman wide receiver, starting to get some more time as well. Western Kentucky blinks just three. Close to the other side. Smith spins out of the first tackle and cleaned up. Under center, Stock still flips it. <laughs> And Mobley has the first down inside the 40. Shaton Mobley with his dad 13 years. Pressure comes, dumps it down, looking for Mobley. Coverage was there, Masai White since 2010 where they haven't been bowl eligible. Blitz comes on third, Eccles steps up in the pocket. Underarms it for Dean, and again, he's getting it out there. He had his receiver open, just overshot him. <laughs> Five. And he's watching a Middle Tennessee team with Mobley breaking a tackle. Shaton Mobley getting all the yards back from the punt. Finally tracked down at the 22. When you put on that way, you can run over guys. You can't run away from him anymore, though. Well, he's up to 235. <laughs> yeah. This time they string it out, Ben Holt, Masai White, one up top, one below, Tavares Thomas, who's 245 himself. Sox still quick release again. Thomas reversing field, and he's not going anywhere. Brought down in the backfield, Carson Jordan. 
Pocket hold. Stock still down the middle on a rope, and it's almost intercepted. Drell Green had his hands on it, took it away from Patrick Smith. Perfect inside of 40. This, though, from 42, where he is yet to hit on the year until now. Drive the length of the field. Let him have eight, nine play drive. Just don't let him score touchdowns. Appleberry Ooh. breaks a tackle through a couple of defenders. Dragged down by Khalil Brooks, their outstanding linebacker. But Appleberry with a first down run. Love the deep shot, though. Keep the defense on. They've been doing that here in the open quarter. Echoes on play action. Again, going down the field. Sloan made the grab and inbounds. Jacquez Sloan out to the 46 on a 16 yard pickup. Try to play for some pride. Pick up the blitz, they can't pick up the second man. Jamal Jones, his second sack of the season. The sixth year player out of Dallas. Pretty short with some receivers. Jimmy Marshall is hurt, Jock Bruce is hurt. So they're going to some young guys and they'll have to again. Stock still, all kinds of time looking downfield, trying to keep it alive. And it's short of Patrick Smith. Shanley in the backup role tonight. Started the last three. Eccles on third and three. Decided to take off, bad decision. Khalil Brooks, the first one there. Jamal Jones cleaned it up, and that'll bring up fourth down. Hilltoppers bring just four. Stockstill dances in the pocket, hangs in there, and it's caught and drilled. Gatlin Casey was just drilled. Dart made the hit, and a late flag thrown in from behind. 25 pound running back Shaton Mobley here on third and two. It's Mobley up the middle. Holt brought him down. Did he get past the 45? He did, and it's enough for a first down. Stock still on the reverse. Middle Tennessee. It's Dobson with the speed inside the 30. Key tracked him down, but an explosive play for the Blue Raiders of more than 20. Back to pass. Stock still over the head of one guy, and it's caught for the second receiver. Isaiah Upton making the grab. They are taking advantage of some of the youngsters here in game number nine. Mobley one more time to the six, and that'll set up first and goal for the Blue Raiders. Not the timeout. Western Kentucky struggling to get lined up the right personnel in. They didn't do it. Thompson sweeping around. Thompson into the end zone. The freshman scores for the first time in his career. And Middle Tennessee up two scores. Pitching it back to Core Pearson and Middle Tennessee read it the whole way. Reed Blankenship. Blue Raiders showing pressure. They bring six. Eccles escapes, throws it out Pearson, but well short of the marker. Why try to get your guys in a good spot? The thing is, if you do that, you risk big plays down the field. Mobley picks up the first down, gets three. Stock still keeping the play alive. Lofts one near side, nowhere near Ty Lee. Malone, the playmaker, with the pressure. To the ground. First down. Samuel bounces off one tackle, gets to the 44. Collins, Rasheem Collins, the defensive tackle, made the stop. It's Pearson who has come in for Sloan. Eccles looks his way. That one's almost picked off. DQ Thomas should have had a pick six. Khalil Brooks drilled Eccles with Ty Watkins. And they run the sweep. <laughs> Thompson again. Zach Thompson out to the 34-yard line. He picks up 19 and gets out of bounds. What? Six have gone to at least two overtimes. An opportunity to have some massive confidence in the locker room. The screen to West. Gets the first down. That'll stop the clock until they set the chains with 38 seconds and one timeout remaining. 13 before they got the playoff. And now a long play. Stock still takes off. And he finally gets out of bounds. Salter was drilled. Is that eight or nine seconds, though, for an extra play that they wasted on that last one? Still one timeout. Stock still over the middle. Caught by Smith. Gets 10 yards. 
inside of 10 seconds, and now Coach Stock still takes the timeout. 39 yards from Holt, who has hit from 42 tonight. And he's two for two. Senior, might we see a change there? Well, we'll find out, because the Hilltoppers are about to get the ball here. Drell Green coming out from the three, across the 20, and out to the 28-yard line, but a flag flown in. But he didn't have a whole lot of attempts before this year. Just 24 career attempts before this season. On third down, that's a strike. Mike Dean has the first down out to the 28-yard line. He picked up 15. This is third and seven. Two for nine in the opening half for Western. Fortenberry slipped down. He's got the first down. Blankenship upended him at the 42. Back conversions after a rough first half on third down. West Kentucky's trying to find a start a little mojo. Eccles, RPO, Jernigan over his shoulder makes the grab. Drive that started back on their seven. Very positive here to start the second half. Samuel lost the ball. It's loose, and it's a takeaway for Middle Tennessee. A cool experience to be able to coach your son this much and watch him have success. Stocks has a proud dad, and deservedly so. And he flips it out quickly to Patrick Smith, out to the 47-yard line. So they pick up 20. Roger Cray shoved him out of bounds. I think that's the respect that everybody around this league has for Brent Stockstill as a player. Mobley on the carry, picks up the first down. Shatan Mobley down to the 39-yard line. He has passed 100 yards for the first time in his career. This one, the seventh play of the drive, third and eight. Stockstill off his back foot. Launches it towards the side of the line, and there are the flags. Gatlin Casey, the grad transfer from Lehigh, the intended receiver. So glad I never played linebacker. <laughs> Stockstill turns around. Ty Lee can't break the tackle, but takes it inside the 10. Devin Key held on to the ankles, and it sets up first and goal for Middle Tennessee. Got to the timeout for third and goal from the six. Stockstill. To the corner of the end zone. And it's too far in front of Patrick Smith. It'll set up fourth and goal. 23-yard attempt for Holt. Hit a pair tonight, and he's perfect. Off the upgrade in. <laughs> <laughs> I would give the tie the edge on that first drive. 25 touchdowns, no picks. LaFrance coming out from the one. Takes it across the 30, and there's a flag. So Gerald LaFrance. Excuse me, Garland LeFrance out to the 34. So third and five coming up, they need the 20. Pressure up the middle. Eccles, hangs, throws, drill. Pearson, the intended receiver, Blankenship, came in to break it up, and it's fourth down. They flip it out to Tavares Thomas, and Holt read it from the beginning. Made the coverage. They only bring the three. Eccles keeps it alive. Finds Pearson down the field. They make a big play out to the 38. Bush makes the tackle, but a 29-yard hookup. Top of your screen, Dean and Fortenberry. Render provides the pressure. Eccles pump fake, and he's going to take it out of bounds, and he's holding his shoulder. Yeah. Did, he, I, did he hurt it on a pump fake? Remember, Eccles came into this game. He had a dislocated shoulder in week one. And because of the penalty as well with Jordan Ferguson, Western Kentucky has new life in Middle Tennessee territory. He's taking a shot on his first pass, and it's caught! Touchdown, Western Kentucky! Lucky Jackson! They're trying to get warmed up still. He looked pretty good on that throw, though. Stock still pressure up the middle. Gets away for one, not the second one. See, it's contagious, too. Ankle injury came up lame, and they need to take a timeout. He's going to the air, taking a shot downfield. It's caught with Salter inbounds. Oh. Yes, at the 46. Oxel just took a sack and then delivered a dime down the field. Hands off back to Mobley. Couple more tackles, runs over Holt again. Boy, how, how many times have we seen that combination right there? Come on. And now can Western Kentucky get a stop? That's the question. Mobley cuts it upfield again. It's Holt. <laughs> Trying to get Holt inside the 20. 
Stock still. Design run up the middle, was losing his footing the whole way. Only gets to the 11. Devin Key brought him down. It'll bring up fourth down, and they'll send the field goal unit on. He slid it off the upright and in. To go up 16. Just a two-possession game. Despite that, just a two-possession game. Duncan keeps it himself. Design quarterback run. And Duncan gets it to the 44. Moffitt there to make the tackle. It's as surprised as anybody said. I didn't think I was going to get this wrong long run. Duncan keeps it himself <laughs> to the outside. He's got another first down. Uh, does, it, does it appear to you, Jason, that he almost looks surprised there's that much room to run? It does when he's running it. Second drop here in the second half for Dean. It's third and six. Blitz comes. Duncan avoids the pressure. Off the hands of the receiver. Right, that's, that's the other tight end, Fortenberry. It's fourth and six. 0 for 1 tonight on fourth. Blitz comes. Duncan throws that direction. This time, Dean makes the grab and has the first down. All the press coverage on the outside. Everybody's pressed up. Make for tight windows. They bring six. He's hit again to the end zone, and it's over the outstretched arms of the five foot nine, Jacor Pearson. This is from 37. And it's blocked. Third and six, stock still. Casey threw his hands. So no answer to the question with 10, 12 to go here in the fourth. Steven Duncan back oh, to work goodness. and he's hit on top and below. Tyshawn Render finished off by Ferguson. Now with Duncan in the 10 and Eccles injured, it's David Shanley, the third quarterback of the day. Quick pass, Pearson out to the 25. Boydras brings him down from behind. A town that was founded for a man who was a Revolutionary War hero. As Mobley on first down takes it out across the 30 to the 31. He picks up 15 yards. To the air. Stockstill wrapped up. Jawan Jones with his second sack of the night. Now five on the season. Himself in there and then take your shot. Off the edge again. Throwing that direction. Looking for Jackson, and it's Blankenship again. 16, 540, it's fourth and 10. Taking a shot down the field, nowhere near the receiver. Turnover on downs, and Middle Tennessee is going to take over. Five pound redshirt freshman from Knoxville, Tennessee, is up over 170. Here on third and five, cuts it upfield. Has the first down and into the red zone. And well, who's behind underneath? <laughs> ben Holt. <laughs> Mobley again. Gets the corner. Mobley chopped down at the seven. Drell Green making the tackle. Max got 199. Instead, it's Terrell West. And the Hilltoppers string it out. They're down to the nine. Well, he had the rest. Can you send him back in? That's what I'm saying. Here on third and goal. Back to Terrell West. No chance. To Corey and Darden making the tackle, and now Western Kentucky will take its second timeout. It's hit four tonight. After hitting just four all year. This from 30 yards out. Ball game. You can see the success he's had here. And he's really, you know, a lot of coaches. Might have taken an opportunity. Oh, there's your boy Reed Blankenship right there. Uh, finishing this one off. The interception for Blankenship off Stephen Duncan. Last week he took it back 100 yards for a score. This week going to go out of bounds. Doesn't need it. Pressure starting to build just a little bit. Got a vote of confidence from his athletic director, Todd Stewart, earlier this week. Said it's going to take some time. They like the way they're developing the youth. But they're going to fall in the rivalry game for the first time since 2014. Fireworks here at Floyd Stadium. Middle Tennessee wins the 68th meeting with Western Kentucky.